Hi, my name is Steve Hallfish. Some of you may know me as an author, some of you may know me from various forums, some of you may know me as a feature film editor or for my Art of the Cut interview series talking to some of Hollywood's top editors. But most of the time, I'm a small business owner. I run a small one-man production and post-production company fortified by some great freelancers right here in the Chicago suburbs. To be honest, I never thought I was the kind of guy that could use a Nexus. Now, Nexus is the rebranding of what Avid used to call ISIS. It's the next generation of what began as Unity. That's big iron network and studio shared storage and collaboration hardware. Not to say I didn't want one. Tons of storage, the ability to share media and storage and projects between multiple editors, something the big boys use because it's rock solid. But I guess Avid has been thinking about me as much as I've been thinking about them because a while ago they came out with the Nexus Pro. This has all the features that Avid's big Nexus solutions have, but scaled down for someone like me with a smaller shop, but the same need for reliability and sharing functionality. Honestly though, I've cut feature films and this has plenty of horsepower and capability to handle the shared needs of a post team on any feature film. So this is it. It doesn't look like much. A couple of rack units, but that's perfect for me. I don't have a lot of space and I don't have a big infrastructure or an engineering or IT department to support it. I need something I can do by myself. I have a big project coming up where I needed some multiple editors and systems working together. I personally bought a bunch of stuff from Video Guys, so I asked them how quickly they could deliver a Nexus, and this arrived FedEx a couple of days later. Before I mount it, I want to show off how it goes together. There's the main Nexus unit with all of the hard drives, and then there's a switch. There are more expensive switches and cheaper switches, and they're expandable if you need more connections. This is a Dell N2024, which means it can connect 24 computers, which is more than enough for me. But if I need to, I could buy another one and connect twice as many. Setup is really simple. Basically, sitting here, it's just like I took it out of the box. The Nexus has two completely redundant power supplies. If one dies, the other one has more than enough power to keep the entire unit running until the bad one can be replaced. Like I said, rock solid. So you have to plug in two power cables for the Nexus, and the Dell needs another one. The Nexus is pretty much whisper quiet. The Dell is a little noisier. I've had one sitting within 10 feet of me for about a week, just like this, and I've done fine. Putting it in a noise dampening rack unit will be a good idea, or just keeping it somewhere removed will work. The good thing is that it's all based on Cat5 cables, so you can move it pretty far away. There's no reason to have the unit close to you. With the two units powered on, you need to attach the Nexus to a switch. Avid found this uh, cool little cable that handles tons of bandwidth, yet it's pretty inexpensive, and all you have to do is connect this between the Nexus and the switch. The final hardware connections are between the switch and the computers. That's done very simply with Cat5 cables. Nexus is not Avid exclusive. If you want Premiere Bays or FCP or After Effects or Pro Tools or whatever, you just plug them in. The OS doesn't matter either. I'm running a couple of Mac-based media composers and a PC that has an older version of Symphony with script sync and phrase find on it, and everybody is purring along fine, even with the Adobe CC suite, all on Nexus. I've got one of the latest MacBook Pros with no Ethernet port, but I can just use a simple Cat5 to Thunderbolt adapter. And something that's really cool is if you want to double the throughput, you can run two Cat5 cables instead of one, and Nexus can use that to deliver double the data. In the next video, we'll talk about the installation and setup of the software you need. There are two pieces of software included in the Nexus. One is the browser-based management program that controls Nexus, and the other is a client-side software that gets installed on each computer that needs to connect to Nexus. We'll run through how to get both of them installed and up and running. See you then.